Welcome to my fourth motion graphics tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this transition using linear wipe. And let's start. So, I'm going to create a new composition. It's going to be two seconds long, and I'm just going to change its name to transition. Okay. And I'm going to put this color scheme into the composition. Um, I'm going to pr uh, put a download link in the description so that you can use it too. Um, then I'm going to create a new solid. And I can just use the eyedropper tool to select this color. And now I'm going to put this on the top and just turn off visibility. Now I'm going to add linear wipe which is under transition. And I'm going to add it to my solid. I'm going to change the wipe angle to 180 degrees. And the transition completion to 100. Then I'm going to click on this stopwatch and move 15 frames. And just change this value to 0. So we now made this. And then I'm going to click on Effects and Linear Wipe. And I am going to select these keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then I'm going to open up Graph Editor. And now I can see the velocity of these two keyframes. So I'm going to select the first one and just drag this handle. And then I'm going to select the second one. And again, drag this handle until you get a ramp like this one. So that changed the look of the animation. Okay, let's close that. Now you need to duplicate your solid for as many times as you want, but I use four. Uh, then turn on the color scheme and then click on this one, uh, Control shift y that will bring up the solid settings and just use your eyedropper tool to change the color. And now you can delete the color scheme the only thing left is to just move these three frames. So one, two, three, and then do the same thing with the other ones. And one, two, three. And that's it. Now, if you want uh, the solids to appear and disappear, um, you can just create uh, another composition and just make it uh, twice as longer and then import this transition then duplicate the layer um, move it just like that and click on time um, time reverse layer so now we have uh, the solids both appearing and disappearing that's it uh, there's a project file download in the description I will make a lot more tutorials like this one, so if you like this, please subscribe and thank you for watching.